Okay, this is the voice of Victor Alade. I just want to show you how I made uh, a makeshift snail belt using available materials in my compound. But I think this can give you an idea if you would like to try something like that uh, in your backyard as well. I'm just trying to do a small scale snary. Now I have just uh, prepared some little topsoil about five to seven to ten centimeter you need this so that um, to be like uh, a background where for example if the snails are going to lay eggs they can be able to propagate their eggs so this is a uh, topsoil then i just take some dry leaves as a motion okay so the the motion helps to keep the snails cool uh, in case of uh, you know hot weather however the whole preparation of the old bed should be under uh, a shade so i'm going to be using uh tires used tires to create this after this now i'm just going to put the snails and i'm going to arrange the tires and then you'll see the overall picture after i'm done all right so i've just arranged two tires on the moist soil and then I will now begin to put the uh, the snails inside and then we see how I'm, I'm able to do this makeshift uh, snail belt so I'm going to be picking the snails now and I'm going to be putting them inside the belt I'm going to do this one after the other uh, very carefully as well so that uh, there will not be any injury it's better for the snails not to have injury than for them to have injury although if they do of course it's going to heal up but it's better to be careful okay so i'm going to do this one after the other until i'm able to transfer everything here okay so i finished arranging the snails inside the makeshift bed and the next thing now will be to cover it up uh, but because there is a need for ventilation so i find i found this broken uh corrugated cage door uh, somewhere in my compound so i'm going to use it to cover it up but uh, you know, this is how it will look but of course you see that there are spaces there are spaces here and here and so because of that i'm going to use some little bit of uh, i'm going to use this leather uh, of course the leather as well is still uh, uh, perforated so that um, you can have aeration so that it will not be uh, stuff uh, i'm going to place that on it before i put the corrugated uh, uh, cover okay let me put this one as well so that uh, it can be well covered. I'm using an open space, so I I do not want my snails to be uh, dehydrated. Okay, so this is how it's going to look. And after that, I'm going to put to put another tire on it so that it can it can press very well. So. This is how my uh, snail bed looks like. So if you're an expert, uh, let me know if I need to make some other adjustments. Okay, so that's basically what I've just done this morning. You can do that as well in your environment. Just look for things around your house. All, I, all the things I've used here are things that are in the compound and I just that's how I call it a makeshift a makeshift uh, snail rig bed. Um, I'm going to feed my snails for the first time. I read somewhere that um, um, moringa leaf is a very very proteinous uh, uh, diet for snails so I got them some moringa. Luckily I have them very cheaply in my compound. All right so yes, I'm still having some little challenge identify which one is the giant snail and which one is not but i am very sure that there are some giant african snails 
among the species that I have here. Especially, at least this is one. This is one. I'm very sure of that. Because it's getting big. So, I'm going to observe them uh, for the next uh, three months. And uh, if I notice any one of them is not getting giant, it's not increasing in size, I'm going to remove them. And then concentrate on uh, the African giant snails. Well, I don't know if I'm going to be using, if I'm going to be uh, making a business out of this later, because I understand that snails lay a lot of uh, eggs, so I don't know. But for now, let's just let me just rear this, even if it's for consumption. At least I get to uh, consume some vitamins and some calcium. Okay, so I'll I'll let you know what my results are at the end of. Uh, three months. Thank you.